Hey everybody, I have with me a very beautiful Charita Kotian here today and she's very beautiful. Great bone structure, like a little Pocahontas, but an Indian Pocahontas. So November, December and January are all festive months. Uh, there's a lot of music festivals around the corner. So for those of you that are looking for interesting makeup looks, but you have no idea how to make it young and edgy and fun and dramatic at the same time, stay tuned and I'll show you just how. Today is not just a makeup tutorial, it's also going to be a hair tutorial. So, what I've done is I've prepped half of her face with the makeup look that I'm going to achieve and show you guys how to create the other half. I was at the Sephora store in New York recently and I came across these foundations by Bare Minerals. It's called Bare Skin. I couldn't afford the entire range, so I bought about five shades. If you're my color, which is a fairly darker, deeper golden brown, then you want to go for number 17. But if you're Charita's color, which is the most common Indian tone, then you want to go for the color number 12, which is bare sand. And it's a great liquid consistency, I'll show you. See, that's one dot. And look at how beautifully it blends, right? So it blends into nothing, really. For concealer, I've used the NYX Sculpt and Highlight Face Duo uh, concealer sticks. There are two shades and I really have mixed both on her face because this is too light and that's too deep. So I've mixed both on her face. And then we've contoured with the NARS Casino like I normally do, but I'm going to show you how to use that, right? So let's start with this. I take my little brush okay. and I'm going to take my Casino. I'm going to ask her to make a fish face. Place it right there in that hollow of the cheek and then blend it up into the cheekbone, right? So it works as a contour come blush, right? You can follow through on the perimeter, so right there in the temples, cheekbones, you can put it in your collar, uh, collarbone right there to show off, in your decolletage, right, all over there. If you have a wider nose, you can streamline your nose by throwing in some of the contour right there. Now, a highlighter by Becca, Moonstone, I'm gonna take it with my fan brush, pick some product and just apply that right there. I'm also going to take this brush and put it on her brow bone. A little bit on the bridge of the nose. Right, right here, the sides of the forehead. A little bit on the, the fulcrum right there, the cupid's bow. Now moving on to the eyes, I found this beautiful palette called Modern Renaissance by Anastasia Beverly Hills. You can see the colors, they're quite lovely. So I'm going to take a nice rounded brush and I'm going to pick this color called Love Letter. Starting from the corner, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, and then I'm slowly expanding the movement of my brush, right? So I'm coming closer in into the crease, right there, so, and then I'll give it a big stroke like that. Remember to always blend your outsides with your fingers, they're the best tools in the business. Now with a smaller brush, I'm picking up a little of red ochre. Now this is a very brick-like red. Right there in the crease is where the red ochre goes. And then focus on the outside, blend, blend, blend. So this gives us a nice sharp definition on the outside corners. Now the same product, red ochre, on the tip of a short brush, I'm gonna ask Charita to look up and I'm gonna push that into the lash line at the bottom right there, connecting into the top ever so slightly. And then whatever's left on the brush, move that product towards the inner corners right there. Now the next thing I'm gonna do is one of my favorite new finds. This is a liquid liner in the color white. All right, so now I'm gonna draw a liner just like you would a black classic liner. So start on the outside. I'm gonna widen this a little bit. I'm gonna ban Charita from opening her eyes for the moment while this liner dries. In the meanwhile, we're gonna go with the lips. This is Neon Pink by Maybelline. Uh, it's a new velvet matte collection. I used it a lot at Fashion Week. This was the biggest trend. While that liner dries, I'm gonna throw on some Neon Pink on the mouth. Isn't this pink just the loveliest color? There you go, and I think the pink lip sits against that white liner so beautifully. I'm going in for some sensational drama. This is Last Sensational by Maybelline. The white liner tends to coat the lashes, like you can see the tips. So I'm just gonna color that in. 
And I'm going to put some mascara on the lower lids as well, just a little bit. Now moving on to them dots. So Nika, they have these beautiful fluorescent mattified nails. They, they mattify themselves, it's fantastic. Um, and I've used these on Charita's hands. I've used yellow, red, green, orange and blue from the neons. Now the dots around the eyes. I have this Q-tip box, right? I've taken the lid, right? I like the fact that this is transparent and that it's soft plastic. It's not too hard. It won't hurt her face when I place it on her. And I'm going to ask her to look straight into the mirror. And then I'm going to place that here. And all I need to do is mark around it. This pencil is a felt tip liner by NARS, but many brands do it. So I'm going to place that there lightly and I'm going to dot every single spot doesn't have to be identically placed in symmetry it, just have fun remember you're going to a music festival see okay so now you have your guideline now this is drama gel liner by Maybelline I'm taking my dotting tool dipping it in the drama gel liner and just place it on those guideline dots and I like to press down on the skin a little bit and give it a little bit of a swirl just to make the dots bigger. Now the last dot is right here on the cheek. There. So Amazon India Fashion Week, which is India's biggest fashion week that happens um, twice a year in New Delhi. Uh, so I, I, I have the luck of creatively directing the makeup and hair for some of the shows. And for JJ Valaya's show, which was the finale, we decided to bring this element in. And there was glitter around the eyes and stuff. So this is really taking it from there. So thank you, JJ Valaya, for inspiring this look. But what we also did in the shows is uh, brand the girls, so to speak. So for instance, your initials are CK, like Calvin Klein. But it's Charita Yeah, so you can write CK somewhere if you like, but I'm gonna write EJ, which is mine. So I'm going to fill, let's see, maybe on this side here, because she's got that mole there which fills space, it's nice. Over here, I'm going to write E. So I've written EJ right there. <laughs> and maybe F, so I'll just draw some other lines here. Now you'll remember me forever. See how I filled it there? It's quite cool. So now I'm going to show you what I did with the nails. This is the Nika Orange Neon, right? The trick is to hold it up, right? Put your brush right into the bristles right there and put that right there. Like that. Now for hair, a lot of times at music festivals, uh, women don't wash their hair every night. You don't, if you're staying in a tent, you've pitched your tent and you don't sh uh, wash your hair. That's fine if you're getting greasy from all the dancing in your scalp and you, you're used to tying your hair up because it's greasy. That's fine too. All you need is a bottle of dry shampoo. Now it doesn't matter what brand it is, I have here what my darling friends from Be Blunt have sent me. It's called the Back to Life Dry Shampoo. So I'm going to take this and spritz it. Just put some in her hair right there. It makes it nice and powdery and airy. And what dry shampoo does is it eats up or absorbs any oil. I also want to throw in some color in her hair. You can see I put a pink one here and a green one here. And because they happen to have sent me a pink a uh, temporary hair color and a green hair color. Right, so I'm gonna throw in some pink, right there, and then a little bit of green. Ooh, I love the green. Now that we have this fun hair, so now I'm gonna take this pony, braid this all the way down. Once I'm done with braiding the hair all the way down, Give it a few extra minutes for the color to dry. So I'm gonna take this braid and just wrap it around itself. I'll probably need three pins in each braid. If you're gonna be dancing the night away, you might wanna put like five pins. So that's one, two, and three, right? And then again, wrap this around itself. There's one. There's two, and there's three. If you wanted to show a little more color, you can just spray it, spritz it right there. Like that, so there's some green in that knob. Yeah. 
So I've also got the texturizing wax paste. It's only 350 rupees, it's very light. It's a, it's a soft bottle, I like it. Um, just because you can take a little bit of wax and clean out any hairline bits right there, you see? Just gather the hair with the wax on my finger and just guide it naturally down. That's cute. Right? Like, now my sister Nelly Wadia has styled this very beautifully and she also managed to get this beautiful scarf from Simply Simone. It has everything that you'll need for a music festival. Color, stars, the sun, tassels. So what I thought is we could bring this in, wrap it around her like there. Right? It's so beautiful. Don't forget to write in and tell me what you think. If you've done this already, then tag me on Instagram. My handle is Elton J. Fernandez on all social media. Um, don't forget to tag me so I know what you've done. Yeah, and you can subscribe to the channel and share it with all your friends. And Charitha and I will see you in a few days or a week uh, with a new tutorial. It's a surprise. Stay tuned. And a lot of girls do. I recommend it for sure. <laughs> so girls with bikes, the problem is that everybody uses a tone too dark or a tone too warm, too orangey, too red.